Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at dumb things teachers have taught students. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Computer teacher told us if you select cut on an image from a website, it will be removed from the website and will upset the website maker. So we had to use copy. What are they in? Kindergarten? Wait, why do they have to make that lie though? What's wrong with cut on an image? If you jump up and down after sex, then it will kill the sperm and you can't get pregnant. Alright, teacher. Have you tried that? Is this what they do every single time they don't use protection? Alright. If a bug was in an airplane, it would not be able to fly forward because it could not fly faster than a plane was moving. I am so confused at these statements. Like, where did they get these from? Like, have they done the research and everything or do they just think that they're correct? My grade 6 teacher told me that fatigued was in fact not a word when I used it in a short story and insisted that I looked in the dictionary. Found it and proved her wrong in front of the whole class. Ooh, yes, I love it when someone proves a teacher wrong. And the teacher is always like, nah, I'm always correct. Sometimes you can be wrong too, okay teacher, just accept it. Accept it and learn from it, okay? Learn from your student. Wait, fatigued? Wow. That is actually a pretty hard word to say. Fatigued. Tigged. Fatigue. Fatigue is just a weird word because it's like fatigue. But why is it a U-E? Fatigue. Fatigued. Okay. That dogs evolved longer faces so they could smell things around corners. <laughs> But what about pugs? You know, French bulldogs, they don't really have long faces. <laughs> Once a horse closes its mouth, its jaw locks and it's literally impossible for a human to open its mouth again. So how do they eat? If that's what they think, how do they think horses eat? They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. After that, they don't eat and they die. All right. I once had a math sub that told our class that any fraction that was over 1 equals 0. <sighs> any fraction over 1 is equals to 0. I mean, anything over 1 is just itself. A person with conjunctivitis can spread it by just looking at you. Is that how you say it? Is that how you pronounce it? Conjunctivitis? <laughs> I'm so bad with pronouncing words, but whoa, if that was true, that's scary. Like, it, what if someone hated you and they had it? They would just stare directly at you and they'll give it to you? Wow, that's like some superpower. A teacher of mine told us that the left side of your body is your feminine side, the right side is your masculine side. That's why your skin is better on your left, your right is stronger, etc. But what if you're like left-handed? What is this logic though? Like, I do feel like I like this side of my face more, but I like this hand more. <laughs> Last year, a biology teacher told me that the T-Rex was only 180 centimeters tall and had wings. Only? Wow. That's uh, 180 centimeters tall. How do you count by twos? 2, 12, 22, 32. <laughs> How do you count by tens, they mean? Twos? Wow, okay. All lights are outfitted with cameras for the government, so we shouldn't use them. Oh, that would be so scary. Like, every light in your room right now are just secretly cameras, and someone is just spying on you right now. How scary would that be? Oh my god. Hell no. People invented sleep because they were bored. <laughs> They thought that people in the olden days, they never slept at all because they weren't bored, you know? So they stayed up 24-7 for their entire lives. I can't. I, I can't go with this anymore. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.